The fictional universe of the Star Trek canon, which evolved out of the 1966–69 TV series Star Trek, is a vast complex of planets, organizations, and peoples that together comprise an example of the science fiction practice of worldbuilding. C. Care, a planet Dr. Richard Galen planned on going to by way of an Al Leyen transport from Deep Space 4. Cairn Homeworld, the unnamed home of the Cairn species. They are members of the Federation who have advanced powers of telepathy and are unable to communicate verbally. Cat, planet in the 15 Lynchus star system, the homeworld of the Iluroid cat-like Cation species. Calder II, a planet with a Federation outpost. Known to have valuable archaeological artifacts of a past civilization. Caldic Prime, the site of a Starfleet facility with a hospital, where Lieutenant Paris was stationed when his court martial offense occurred. Caldonia, the home world of the Caldonian species and a major source of naturally occurring Trillium 323. Possibly a reference to the Atride's home world in Frank Herbert's Dune series. Caldos II, a planet that was one of the Federation's earliest successful terraforming projects. Caleb IV, a Federation outpost near the Klingon border. Kalinon 7, a planet of the Gamma Quadrant where the Dominion maintains an unmanned, and lightly secured, subspace relay station that handles comm traffic from various Dominion-related members, such as the Karema. Kalondia IV, Jaja's wrestling coach says he is on his way to Kalondia IV as he leaves her quarters. Kamor V, the home world of the Kamorite species. Miranda Vigo, Captain. Picard's lover 24 years in the past, moved to Camor V, and Picard goes there to meet his supposed son Jason Vigo. Campor III, site of a new colony S2371. The colony's crucial field hospital was being outfitted from Deep Space Nine, needing medical supplies from Vulcan that are delayed circa stardate 48467.3. Kamu II, a planet that once was home to a highly advanced species which, though its people apparently never developed space flight, did manage to develop technology, unknown to the UFP, that enabled two intelligent beings to exchange life entities. Their ruins have long been studied by Federation scientists. In 2269, a Federation team headed by Dr. Janice Lester and Dr. Arthur Coleman was wiped out by Lester to keep the secret of the Life Exchange Project. The radioactive element celebium, which emits a unique type of particulate radiation that is deadly to humans, is found in large quantities there. Apparently, it is the decay product of an ancient thermonuclear war. On star date 42215.2, the Enterprise was on its way to Kamu 2 for an archaeological survey when it was diverted by a distress call. Canopius Planet, the home of Phineas Tarbold when he wrote The Nightingale Woman in 1996. Capella IV, the home world of the advanced, yet still tribally governed, Capellan species. Dr. McCoy was stationed on the planet for several years and was familiar with the strict Capellan customs. An Iluroid quadruped whose specimens, possessed of the power to discharge lightning-like bolts of electrical energy powerful enough to kill a humanoid, all hated captivity so much that they always had to be killed within four days of capture. The Capellan power cat, was also described as inhabiting the planet. Kardashia III, the third planet of the Kardashia system, where Zek obtained the Bajoran Orb of Wisdom from a contact. This was his last stop before heading into the wormhole to seek future advice from its builders. 
Kardashir IV, the fourth planet of the Kardashir system, from which Major Kira and Chief O'Brien rescued Bajoran prisoners of war still being held in a labor camp, including Lee Nala's. Kardashir V, the fifth planet in the Kardashir system, it hosts a museum where Quark's cousin Kono once stole bone carving artifacts. Kardashir Prime, the primary home world of the Cardassian species, and the capital of the Cardassian Union. It is the seventh planet in the Cardassian system and is usually referred to simply as Kardashir. Few people refer to it by its proper nomenclature, Kardashir 7. Karima 3, the second proposed site of testing experimental particle fountain mining technology. Karnal, a planet in the midst of a civil war. It was where Captain Jean-Luc Picard first met Lieutenant Tasha Yar. Impressed at Yar's heroism in rescuing civilians from a minefield, Picard recruited her to serve aboard the Enterprise D as head of security. Carrier IV, a jungle world on the edge of Romulan space which is the site of a secret camp for 73 reluctant Klingon survivors of the Kitama massacre in 2346. Kasperia Prime, a ringed Class M planet which the Starfleet Bureau of Information calls the vacation capital of the Horvian cluster. Jadzia Dax planned her and Worf's honeymoon there in 2374. Castel I, one of several sites of border skirmishes between the Talarians and the Federation, where Endar's son was killed. Catulla, the people of the planet have delicate relations with the Federation. It orbits Theta Pictoris and is known as Sendo Prey by the Catullans. Seltris III, a Cardassian border planet erroneously thought to have a subterranean development site for metagenic weapons. The base was later found to be an elaborate hoax perpetrated specifically to capture Captain Picard himself. Centauri VII, the immortal Flint possessed some of the works of the artists Taranullus of Centauri VII. Cerberus II, a planet whose natives had developed a rejuvenation process for the body and shared the secret with Admiral Mark Jameson after he had negotiated a treaty for the planet, only to have him administer an ultimately deadly overdosage of the drugs used in the process to himself. Cestus III, a Federation colony near the Gorn hegemony that was attacked by the Gorns in 2267. A powerful alien species of sapient discorporates, intolerant of war, that was known as the Metron Consortium mediated a peace treaty, and now the Federation and the Gorns share the planet equally. In 2371, the colonists formed a baseball league with six teams, including the Cestus Comets and the Pike City Pioneers. Seti Alpha V, a then barely habitable planet where, in 2267, Captain James T. Kirk marooned the renegade ruler Khan Noonien Singh and his followers after Khan tried to hijack the Enterprise and murder Kirk. Six months later, Seti Alpha V exploded and caused the destruction of Seti Alpha V's ecosystem, shifting its orbit and rendering it a barren wasteland. At least one native life form survived, the parasitic Seti eel. The story of Khan's survival is chronicled in the 2006 non canonical novel, To Reign in Hell The Exile of Khan Noonien Singh. In 2285, the USS Reliant went to Seti Alpha V, mistaking it for Seti Alpha Vi, which had been chosen for testing the Genesis device. Khan stole the ship and set out to avenge himself on Kirk. In addition, years before any of this occurred, in an alternate future in the Star Trek, Enterprise episode, Twilight, after the Shindi destroyed Earth in 2154, the planet became the new homeworld of what was left of humanity, chosen by episode writer Mike Sussman as a cruel joke. 
since the planet would become all but uninhabitable in a hundred years anyway. Note, it is uncertain whether SETI Alpha is the same as Alpha SETI, a real star system 220 light years from Earth. Under the Bayer designation system, the Greek letter should precede the constellation name, however, in the novelization of the Wrath of Khan, Alpha SETI V is indeed the form used. SETI Alpha Vi, a sister planet to SETI Alpha V, and presumably the outermost planet in the system. The planet exploded sometime around 2267 and destroyed SETI Alpha V's ecosystem by shifting its orbit. The cataclysmic event apparently went unnoticed by the Federation who chose Planet Vi as the test site for the Genesis device in 2285. During the survey mission, the USS Reliant goes to SETI Alpha V by mistake assuming it was sixth planet. Chalna, the home world of the Chalnath species, a people who have no laws or organized system of government. Captain Picard visited the planet when he commanded the USS Stargazer. Chaltok IV, the site of a Romulan research colony nearly destroyed during the test of a Polaric ion device, which led to the Polaric Test Ban Treaty of 2268. Chandra V, the home world of the Chandran species. The Betes Tam Elbrun spent time on the planet as a Federation delegate. The peaceful and loving Chandrans have a three-day ritual just for greeting newly arrived visitors. Chaya 7, a planet where Enterprise D designer Dr. Leah Brahms headed up a series of engineering debates. Cheren, a planet orbiting the star 83 Leonis located within Romulan space, whose civilization wiped themselves out through racial bigotry. The Cheren system, by coincidence, is also the site of the Battle of Cheren between the Federation and the Romulans. Considered a humiliating defeat by the Romulans, according to Admiral Jarok. It led to the creation of the Romulan neutral zone and thus likely climaxed the original Romulan War in 2160. Chrysalin Homeworld, the Chrysalins are bidders for the wormhole near Barzan II. They are represented by Devanoni Ral, a charming and deceptive negotiator. Cirrus IV, the location of the Emerald Wading Pool, recreated in a holodeck program. Coltar IV, a Federation colony that experienced the Mannheim Effect. Time disruption produced by Dr. Mannheim's dimensional experiment on Vandor. Cor Carolli V, the location of an outbreak of Phyrox plague in 2366. For unspecified reasons, Starfleet deemed the incident classified. Picard mentions the incident to Haro, a Bolian Starfleet cadet he was imprisoned with. When Haro remembers details of the event, of which a first-year cadet would have no knowledge, Picard realizes Haro is not who she claims to be. Cor Caroli is also the name of the star Alpha Canum Venetacorum. Corridon, planet in the Chiorionis star system. At least one homeworld of the Corridon species, which was important in the early development of the Federation for its rich deposits of dilithium and other minerals. Mining rights were a heated debate between the Tellarites and Vulcans. Ambassador Sarek of Vulcan was credited with achieving the consensus toward admitting the planet to the Federation. In 2374, Corridon's Dilthium mines were attacked by the Dominion. Corinth IV, the location of a Federation starbase. After the mission at M113, Kirk sets off to Corinth IV to drop off a supply of Mexican chili peppers to an associate of his at the station. Corvin II, the homeworld of the Corvin species. Kravik Homeworld, a Delta Quadrant planet with a civilization destroyed by robots. 
Signet 14, the 14th planet in the Signet system, inhabited by a female-dominated society. The Enterprise had a computer update at the planet, and the Signetians gave the female voice of the system a flirtatious personality that annoyed Captain Kirk. Signia Minor, a Federation colony near the planet Q. D Dakala, a rogue planet discovered in 2151 by the Enterprise NX-01. It exists in perpetual darkness, however the surface is teeming with non-photosynthetic plant life and a diverse animal population, many of which possess bioluminescence. Geologic gases venting from the interior keep the planet warm and most of the life is concentrated near them. Daldi V, planet with a hostile atmosphere with composition almost exactly similar to Clovgia III. The inhabitants were shape-shifting energy beings. Danula II, planet where in 2323, young cadet Jean-Luc Picard won the annual Starfleet Academy Marathon. The captain kept the certificate he won in his photo scrapbook. Duran V, a Federation colony doomed to be struck by the asteroid Yonada. Davlos Prime, planet orbiting New Tauri near the Klingon border. Klingons visiting Deep Space Nine used a device manufactured on Davlos III to turn a replicator into a transporter to secretly beam espionage equipment into a bulkhead near the Romulan quarters. Deos IV, planet where Klingon Commander Kang retrieved an amulet belonging to the Albino's wife, which contained the location of the Albino's secret fortress on Secrus. The alias Connolly. Used by Miles O'Brien when he attempted to infiltrate the Orion Syndicate, spent two years in prison for dealing in stolen equipment on Deos IV. Deco's Prime, site of a Federation base. Dedestris, Delta Quadrant planet accessible from Sakaris via the Sikran spatial trajector. Danonychus 7, planet where the Enterprise D awaited the arrival of the USS Biko. Dekendi 3, homeworld of the Dekendi species. Delb 2, home of Nellan Tor, assistant to Admiral Nora Sati who investigated sabotage aboard the Enterprise D. Delinea 2, in 2209, doctors from Delinea 2 were the first to diagnose transporter psychosis. Delios 7, Janeway mentions that the shamans of the Karas tribe on Delios 7 practice a ritual that increases the electrical resistance of their skin. Delos 3, Delos 3, also known as Ornera, is home to the Ornerans who have become addicted to the drug Felicium by the inhabitants of Delos IV, the Breckians. Delos IV, planet where Dr. Beverly Crusher had training under Dr. Quince. This is not to be confused with another Delos IV also known as Brecker. Delphi Ardu IV, a star system with a planet that the USS Enterprise D chased a Ferengi warship to. The planet was the site of an ancient TKON Empire outpost still protected by a mysterious guardian. Delta IV, homeworld of the Delton species. Delta Vega, a remote, uninhabited planet, near the edge of the galaxy and site of a semi-abandoned lithium cracking facility, where Captain Kirk attempted to maroon Lieutenant CMDR. Gary Mitchell after he developed dangerous psychic powers and threatened the Enterprise. A planet called Delta Vega also appears in the 2009 Star Trek movie. Both the elder Spock and Kirk are marooned there in an Arctic region. Spock was left on the planet by the Romulan Nero so he could watch his home world of Vulcan be destroyed. Here, Vulcan and Delta Vega appear close to each other and are possibly in the same star system. 
However, according to the semi-canon book Star Trek Star Charts by Jeffrey Mandel, Vulcan is in the Forti Eridani A system which does not include Delta Vega. After Kirk disrupts the Enterprise mission, he is marooned on Delta Vega by the younger Spock on star date 2252.48. Kirk eventually encounters the older Spock and the two find Montgomery Scott working in a Federation research facility on the planet. Star Trek writers Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi, however, have stated that, while the similar name is intentional, the Delta Vega in the episode and the film are not the same planet. Delvo's Prime, location of a Federation long-term care center. Deneb 2, second planet in the Deneb Kaitos system. Site of mass murders of women by the killer Red Jack, where he was known as Kessler. Note, non-canon sources state that the true Deneb star is not the primary of this planet. Deneb IV, fourth planet in the Alpha Cygni system. The location of Farpoint Station, and was visited by the USS Enterprise D during its maiden voyage. Note, non-canon sources state that the true Deneb star is not the primary of this planet. Deneb V, also known as Deneb Kaitos V, where the Federation Academy of Sciences is based. Harry Mudd escaped the planet after being sentenced to death for fraud. Note, non-canon sources state that the true Deneb star is not the primary of this planet. Deneva, planet orbiting Kappa Fornacis, a Federation colony that was attacked by strange neural parasites. Captain Kirk's brother Sam resided on Deneva with his family. Denius III, Captain Donald Varley of the Federation starship Yamato mentions an Iconian artifact found on this planet. Denebula, a planet in the Denebula Triaxa Iota Bootes system, the homeworld of the Denobulan species. Enterprise character, Dr. Phlox, is a Denobulan. The population is 12 billion, all of which live on a single continent. Dereben V, planet where Lieutenant J.G. Aquil Lunari was previously stationed before being reassigned to Relay Station 47. Desica II, planet where the Enterprise D crew believed Captain Picard was killed in a bar fight. Detrier, system where in 2369, two gas giants, Detrier II, and Detrier Vi, collided and formed a new protostar. The Enterprise D went there to monitor the rare event. Davidia II, homeworld of the Davidians visited by the Enterprise D in 2368 to uncover the mystery behind a Davidian fossil found on Earth in the 24th century. Devus II, Sunna controlled world in the Gamma Quadrant. Demoris, planet infested with poisonous dart shooting rodents. Gary Mitchell was shot with one of these darts which was intended for his friend James T. Kirk. Dinal, planet in the Delta Quadrant which is densely populated by the Dinali species. Their complex healthcare system is managed by the JYE species who operate massive hospital ships that float above the overpopulated Dinali cities. Donatu V, planet near the Klingon Federation disputed Sherman's planet. In 2374, during the Dominion War, the Klingon warship Rotaran escorted Klingon freighters to Donatu V. Doraf I, the Enterprise D was headed to Doraf I, a new Federation colony, for a terraforming mission but received an emergency call from Starbase 234. Dorvan V, planet adopted by a colony of Native American Indians which became annexed by the Cardassians according to the Federation Cardassian Treaty of 2370. It was Captain. 
Picard's painful task to relocate this colony to a new planet after having discovered one of his Earth ancestors may have helped drive Indians from their native land centuries ago on Earth. Dossie Homeworld, Dominion allied planet in the Gamma Quadrant. Quark negotiates for trade rights with the Dossie. The name of their planet is never mentioned in the show however it appeared on tactical readout screens as Dossie. Dozaria, Alpha Quadrant planet located between Cardassian Union and the Breen Confederacy. In 2372, Major Kira mounts a rescue mission to find her friend Law at Akram, whose prison transport ship was shot down and crashed on Dozaria by Breen warships during the Cardassian occupation of Bajor. Also on the doomed transport was Gul Dukat's illegitimate daughter Torazil. Dozaria could be traveled to through the Iconian Gateway on Vandross IV. Draken IV, planet with a Federation starbase near the Romulan neutral zone. Draen II, homeworld of the Draen species. Drago IV, an M-class planet considered for the relocation of the Boralans, but since it lies near Cardassian space, it could not be chosen as a refuge. Drelix, planet in the Epsilon Indy system, homeworld of the Drelaxian species. Drelon II, uninhabited planet. The refugee Scria, who thought Bajor was their mythical refuge Kentana, resettled on Drelon II after the Bajoran provisional government declined their request to settle on Bajor. Dramer IV, planet in the Selkundi Dramer sector with a pre-warp civilization on the verge of destruction by seismic turbulence. The Enterprise is the first manned vessel to visit the system. Lieutenant Commander Data was contacted by a young Dreamin girl named Sarjenka asking for help. He went against orders and the Prime Directive and went to the surface to help her. Later, Wesley Crusher came up with the idea of launching probes onto the surface that would emit harmonic vibrations that could quell the tectonic stresses at the core. Dreon 7, location of a Bajoran colony. Dulysian IV, a Federation colony near the Romulan border. In their attempts to invade Vulcan, the Romulans tried to lure away the Enterprise D from the Romulan neutral zone with a fake distress call from Dulysian IV. Durinia IV, destination of the Enterprise D after it left Starbase 133. Duronom, Enolian penal colony. Ditalix B, the fifth planet in the Omicron Ceti star system, also called Mira V, it is an abandoned commercial mining planet where Captain Jean-Luc Picard secretly rendezvoused with Captain Walker Keel to discuss a conspiracy within Starfleet. The planet is owned by the Ditalix Mining Company. Note, in Bayer system nomenclature, Omicron Ceti is the technical catalog name for Mira. Topic E Earth, also known as Terra, or Sol 3. Earth is the homeworld of the human species, and the location of the capital of the United Federation of Planets in Paris, as well as Starfleet headquarters in San Francisco. Residents of Earth were called Terrans in the alternate Mirror universe. Earth's moon, called Luna, or Sol Ier, is also colonized. The capital is Tycho City. At least one other sentient race evolved on Earth in the past, the reptilian Voth species. Possibly descended from hadrosaurids, the Voth became advanced and developed space travel, escaping Earth before an asteroid impact 65 million years ago. They relocated to the Delta Quadrant. Another likely sentient race evolved on Earth along with humans, as humpback whales are strongly implied to be sentient based on their communication with Spock and the probe orbiting Earth in Star Trek IV. Earth Colony 2A Federation Settlement 
Eden, a planet sought by the insane Dr. Severin and his group of young followers. They believed the planet lay in the Romulan neutral zone and forced the Enterprise NCC-1701 to go there. The planet they find, however, though it is a lush paradise, proves to be teeming with plant life containing deadly, highly corrosive acid. Note, Eden was also the human name given for the mythical planet Shah Kari which lay at the center of the galaxy. Ephros, homeworld of the Ephrosian species. Echoes, the inner planet of its system whose inhabitants, the Echosians, modeled their society after Nazi-controlled Germany of mid-20th century Earth. This was implemented by a human observer, the historian Professor Dr. John Gill, Ph.D., who believed that, under a benevolent Führer himself, what he wrongly perceived as the regime's order and efficiency could be achieved without its brutality. This contaminated the development of the planet's culture, and after the Echosian Melikon, a power-hungry leader more in line with the real. Nazis, secretly took control and made Jill his puppet, Echoes declared war on the outer planet of Zeon. Ellers, a planet whose people sought peace with a warring neighbor world, Troyus, with an arranged marriage. The tears of Elasian females have an aphrodisiac effect on men, apparently through an infectious microbe that Elasian women carry with no apparent effect on themselves. Scott tells the story of transporting the dolmen of Ellers. Eladrel IV, a planet where a dimensional shifting creature resides. In 2368, a Temerian captain named Dathon took Picard there, against the latter's will, to fight the beast together. Dathan's attempts at intelligent communication and cooperation were hampered by the Temerian language structure, which consisted of cultural metaphor and allegory, but Dathon hoped that a common, shared danger against which the two captains might have to join forces could help his people, the children of Tama, and the Federation reach a non-aggression pact. That commitment proved to be one for which he was willing to give his life, and indeed, he so gave it and thus became a martyr for the cause. Eloria, the home of the Elorian species, which was destroyed by the Borg. In 2293, two Elorian refugee ships were caught in the Nexus Energy Ribbon. Ginnon was among those rescued from one of the ships before it was destroyed. Elenu IV, a planet visited by Sisko and Curzon Dax. Elasian homeworld, the low-gravity homeworld of the Elasian species. Elba II, an inhospitable planet on whose surface an asylum for the criminally insane is maintained inside a pressure dome. Perhaps ironically, Elba is also the name of an island off Italy where Napoleon Bonaparte was exiled. Insane people are sometimes comically depicted as believing they are Napoleon and appear dressed like him. Allura Homeworld, the home of the Allura species. It is one of the three planets ruled over by the Sun of Solidarity. Amila II, the destination of the Enterprise D after its mission at Tanagar IV. Emaniah 7, the home world of the Emanian people. The inhabitants are discovered to be engaged in a simulated war with the people of the planet Vendikar. The original cause of the war between the Aminians and the Vendikans, who were originally Emanian colonists, is never given in the installment. Inara Prime, the Delta Quadrant home world of the Inaran species. Endicor, destination of the Enterprise D until it found a shuttle craft with a duplicate of Jean-Luc Picard from six hours into the future aboard. Epsilon 119 Epsilon IV, fourth planet orbiting the star Epsilon Hydri, located in Klingon space. Epsilon Canaris III, a planet whose inhabitants wish to join the Federation but are at war with each other. Epsilon Canaris 
is actually short for Epsilon Canis Majoris, otherwise known as Adara. Epsilon Eridani, well-known star system orbited by the famous Federation planet of Axana. Note, in Star Trek, the original series, Epsilon Eridani was thought to be the home system of the Vulcans. Star Trek, Star Charts later placed Vulcan in the Forty Eridani system, supported by the fact that Charles Trip Tucker III mentioned in an episode of Star Trek, Enterprise that Vulcan is 16 light years from Earth, Forty Eridani is indeed 16 light years from Earth. Epsilon Indy 2, the birthplace of Walter Pierce. Note, in Star Trek, the original series, Epsilon Indy was thought to be the home system of the Andorians. Star Trek, Star Charts later placed Andoria in the Procyon system. Epsilon West IV, the planet the SS Manila was bound for. Indicated on a shipping manifest. Erebus Prime, a planet in the Gamma Quadrant visited by Vash and Q. Vash was bitten by a poisonous bug on the planet and would have died if not for Q's intervention. Erekang 7, a Gamma Quadrant planet whose inhabitants nearly killed Vash while in Q's company. Evadne IV, the destination of the Enterprise D until it uncovered an unstable wormhole near the Name Nebula. Evera Homeworld, the home of the Evera species, which is a citizen race of the Federation. Excalbia, a volcanic planet home to an alien species who had Kirk and Spock battle illusionary enemies in a test of good and evil. Exo-3, an icy Class P planet where nurse Christine Chappell's former fiancé Dr. Roger Corby had a research station. The planet once sustained an ancient civilization, whose ruins are now found underground, it was evidently destroyed by the androids its people created without ever developing spaceflight. <laughs> F Fabrina, homeworld of the Fabrini species whose world was destroyed by a supernova explosion. The Fabrini used Yonada, a hollow asteroid as a lifeboat to save themselves from annihilation. Farlina III, planet that lies along a Valyrian trade route who periodically supplied Cardassians with weapon-making materials. Farius Prime, heavily industrialized home of the Farian species and headquarters of the Orion Syndicate crime organization. Phanos, Delta Quadrant Planet. Felton Prime, planet in Cardassian space with a military base and relay station. Fendus V, planet whose hereditary leaders have a genetic condition that results in them being born without limbs. Ferengina, Alpha Quadrant homeworld of the Ferengi species and capital of the Ferengi Alliance. The planet known to be dismal with overcast skies, nearly constant planet-wide torrential rainfall, deep swamps of rotting vegetation, and thick muddy rivers. Fina Prime, a Vidian planet in the Delta Quadrant. Finia Prime, homeworld of the Finian species. Ferris Vi, featured in the DS9 episode, Life Support. Flaxian Homeworld, Flaxian assassins are known to use pheromonic sensors to detect their intended targets. Fulna 3, Troy shows guests a jewel plant from Fulna 3 in the Enterprise's Arboretum. Forkers 3, in 2370, Lieutenant Worf returns victorious from the Batareth competition on Forkers 3, Ginnan offers Lieutenant CMDR Data a bitter alcoholic beverage from Forkers 3 which he expressed dislike, however he chose to continue drinking the beverage to experience the feelings of bitterness caused by his new emotion chip. Forlar 3, planet whose colony fell victim to an attack by the crystalline entity. Fornax, when Fornax's sun went supernova, the Enterprise saved the colonists. 
Founders Homeworld, a barren gamma quadrant planet and homeworld of the Founders. It is a rogue planet in the Omarion Nebula in the center of Dominion space. The Founders themselves exist as a massive ocean of amber liquid known as the Great Link. Freehaven, Bajoran Colony See also List of Star Trek planets, ABGLMQRSTZ